penis uh, trench artwork. Oh, that's funny. MC trench artwork? Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. That's a penis, really. That's got to be a penis. <laughs> I think I just found my drop. <laughs> <laughs> Thrifting ain't easy. I'm feeling creepy. Comping diapers on my eBay app. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Anthony here. It's Friday morning, uh, around 8, 8 something a.m. Got kind of a different video planned today. My buddy John, the Cincinnati Picker, as I'm sure you've seen, purchased a bunch of storage units uh, last week or the week before. And he sent me a message asking if I'd like to come down and look through them, see if I could source anything. And I was like, yup. So today we are going to jump over to Ohio. It's only one state over, no big deal. And we're going to look through the storage units, see if there's anything we can source. And we're going to take you along with us. So hope we find some good stuff. If nothing else, I'm sure we'll enjoy the adventure. So let's go to Ohio. So here's what the drive from Indiana to Ohio looks like. What do you think about that, Sarah? It's, it's so exciting. Not very interesting, is it? But check this out, we have had the hardest time finding masks. We have a couple for today. But we just stopped at the gas station and they had a five pack of masks right there on the counter. So that's awesome. So that makes me feel good about today, Sarah. What do you think? What a close up. <laughs> no, I'm pulled back. It's a wide angle. Oh. Are you feeling good about today? I am. I'm excited to, to meet. You're excited to meet John and I am. I was in gonna person. be secretive about who you were meeting. Oh, the intro they know plus the title and the oh. thumbnail. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a thumbnail. Oh. Okay, so I just ruined that. You can cut that out. Nothing's ruined. Alright, we got about an hour and a half still. We'll talk to you soon. There's that famous uh, Ohio arch. <laughs> <laughs> St. Louis is. But we're not going all the way to St. Louis, okay. Alright, I'm going to let this truck over, then we're going to take this exit, and then we're going to take a bathroom break. Pee -pee. There's a rest area. Because we're old. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's that? Yeah, that construction kind of sucked. I have a YouTube channel. You don't care if I record, do you? No. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be funny? I like your little pocket set up there, it's smart. Thanks, I just, uh, I stuck with the backpacks for some reason. I always forget them. You guys buy one. Yeah, man, yeah. you too. My wife says she's super jealous. <laughs> <laughs> she watches your videos more than mine. Yeah, well, yeah, same with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate the offer. Did any rain on the way? No rain, uh, just that, just, you know, those orange barrels everywhere, yeah. like, and then, you know, once you're out of Indiana, it's fine. Yeah. Whole bunch of nothing. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Do you think you made your money back yet? Yes. I'm in the profit already. Are you? Awesome. The wholesale lots of passes. Yeah. Those have been selling really fast. I was kind of doing the math and it seemed like you were probably there already. But as time goes on, I'm paying more in rent. Right, yeah. I have to kind of just raise against the clock at this point. Got to start condensing them down with a slide trace. Yeah. No, jar rubbers. But like, oh, can I think you say cleaning. Game. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I was it complete? Yes, it is actually. Did last night? It, it's missing like a, you know, there's like a plastic tray that holds all the pieces. That's gone. But I don't really yeah, count that. Bad. Should I start a little pile out here? That's yeah, I'm finding yeah. stuff. Okay. Um, these are going for about twenty. You got any interest in those? I think they're like small new stuff. 
host of us. I'm just looking to get rid of stuff. I think you kind of saw like the prices I was giving. Yeah. Trying to get rich. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want to pay rent on these forever. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. It'll eventually get to a point, I think, where I'll probably just have to, you know, sell as much as I can, maybe have a garage sale, and then call like 2,800 yards up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I will pay you to take this. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's awesome. I've actually got a whole box of those, like 12 or 15 of them. That's so fun. I don't know if they're worth anything. Those don't even ring a bell, but they look like, like probably like my childhood. Yeah, I probably remember like Brandon having something My like area. That. Yeah, look at that. Giant Pez. Oh my gosh, you should just get that for Elliot just because. She's his favorite person. I saw that where he was just like laying on her. Yeah, if she's holding him and I try to get him, like, you know. He's an older guy in his 60s and he's been a reseller his whole life and he would travel to antique shows and stuff. Um, yeah, he needed to get out of it. Yeah, I guess so. There's some interesting stuff in here. Oh, cool. Some like tail lights and just small odds and ends. Those are might? I don't think those are railroad lights. Oh, hey, he's got a railroad book. Made in USA, that's always good. What GoPro do you have, eight? No, I still have the seven black. Does it glitch on you a bunch? Uh, not that I've ever noticed. Uh, Man, mine was constant. This will probably be the longest that I've let it run, you know, because I do like thrift stores mainly. Uh -huh. But, so hopefully it works okay today. That's good. Yeah, mine, it was like every five or six times that I'd use it. Um, it like would it would uh I have to pull the battery out when I put it back in. Oh really? Yeah, it was a pain, but are you pretty happy with the eight so far? Eight. What's that? Are you pretty happy with the eight so far? I love it, yeah. I actually used the three for like a year or a year and a half. It was uh -huh. a really long time before I finally broke down and upgraded. This is just a big box of trash. Oh shoot, I threw that right in the puddle. I want to upgrade eventually, but I figure if garage sale season doesn't start up soon, then there's not really a big reason to invest. No, and if yours is working fine, I don't think there's a huge yeah. picture difference between the 7 and the 8. The shelving is going to be a pain to take apart and get out of here. Oh, that's not part of the unit, is it? No. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he made this himself. Oh, he's that sucks. Been for like eight years, he's had it. Jeez. Ooh. There's an uh, HP laptop back there, but it's the keys. Some of the keys are broken off. Uh, I'm not sure it's like ancient. Did you see those by chance? Uh oh, where are they? Right in front of you. I These are here. The video. Oh. And I googled. What it says is so like Bosch is in some kind of model number. Uh -huh. And um, somebody commented that they are um, lift units for car windows. Oh, oh, to roll the windows yeah. down. I don't know if that's something you want to mess with, but there might be some value there. There's like 10 sets of them. But there's a lot of value there. I, I don't, I probably wouldn't get into it, but that, I mean, I bet that's a lot of money. Ooh. It's cool too. Well, let's just see. If your mom can watch the kids. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell yeah. 1995. Oh, it's like it's completely sealed. Look at the top That's of That's pretty cool. That is cool. That's pretty awesome right there, actually. Yeah, if you guys don't buy that, I think I'm taking that home. So is it 25? 
25 years old. Oh, yeah. That's cool. It's a keyring kit. Keying kit? Yeah. For keying locks? Yeah. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'll just set it with it and we'll okay. see. We'll see. Who knows, right? Is this the Little Mermaid? Is this the, the penis copy? Did you say the penis copy? Yeah, there's a copy of the Little Mermaid where the cover, they had to redo it because the, because the castle looks like a penis. Can you say it on YouTube? Is it okay? There's a rib. Oh, that's for Eve. Here's the top to this hair dryer thing. Somebody was telling me that you needed the top. Oh, that's awesome. Awesome is one way. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? It doesn't even I think this articulate, does it? Oh, it does articulate. Okay. She Only $119. What a bargain. <laughs> I've always been a fast nickel over a slow dive. Cover. Yeah. Something. We used to get these a lot. Uh, at the pawn shop? At the pawn shop, oh, yeah. Oh, did you? Uh-huh. How did that go? Well, I mean... I'm sure older women, especially like the interchangeables, it yeah. reminds me of the glasses. There's a grinder, sir. A little dual grinder. Delta. That's actually kind of a good idea. You want me to put that aside? Yeah. Oops. This might be holding everything up, Sarah. I don't know. Oh, holding everything up. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was just a picture. Okay. Well, I appreciate the thought. Oh, she's going to get one. Oh. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Um, here's some random tools. I'm going to pull this out for you if you want to dig through. Okay. And then there's another one right here. Okay. And then I'll take her down there and start pulling out some tools. Okay. Service caps. That's awesome. I thought they were. I thought they were cool. Here's a diamond tester. Okay, what am I looking at? Uh, these. Oh, cool. We're gonna take this pump to Elliot so he can just rock it. Little bar. Okay. Here is a uh, penis uh, trench artwork. Oh, that's funny. MC trench artwork? Yeah, that's that's pretty neat. That's a penis, right? Really. That's gotta be a penis. <laughs> I think I just found my drop. 
<laughs> Vintage Ever Ready Energizer. I think I have a, a broken Rockwell at home. I wonder if I have the power cable for it. I might. For what? Oh, those little ornament things. Here's a Craftsman Riveter, Sarah. A Riveter? Do you need one of those? It's ideal for a wide variety of general purpose riveting applications. <laughs> well, I mean, that's okay too. If it's... I'll be on. There was a guy here Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of the same deal, looking for some small, so I was trying to help him. And I found some uh, older casters like this. And I just looked them up and a set of four were going for like 50 bucks. Oh, really? It looks like some of these casters, if they're real big, go for like huge, huge money. This one looks like a three inch. Before I even started pulling stuff out, the furniture back here uh -huh. was stacked to the ceiling. Oh, really? It was here. I think I've got a picture. I just wanted to get it to where like, I could actually walk to the end of it. So I think it was about like right here. It was just a wall of furniture. Like you couldn't even get back to it. It was nuts. What is that? Uh, I mean, you've probably said, and I probably missed it, but that uh, ammo box in there, like full of like, are they like I don't know what they are, fossils or stones or something? Or something? Yeah, yeah, you don't know for sure. I was wondering. Kind of interesting. It is birdcage. That's cute. Look at that. It has like little saucers. They're like a little, uh, like a Benihana or something. That's look so like, cute. look like what you drink your hot tea in. Ew. Let me see that. What would you do? I don't want to touch it. I don't want to. Oh. This is like super creepy. <sighs> this is haunted for sure. Oh my gosh. Get it away from me. I don't want to see it anymore. What? Make a fish tank? Huh? Make a fish tank? Yes! Yeah, that'd be cool. You guys are on the same wavelength. <laughs> Maybe today's the day, Sarah. No. Nah. Did you look this up by chance? Did I look? Well, I feel like that? that actually, well, it's kind of torn. Um, I saw part-time pickers so something similar. Seems like vintage new old stock tools seem to do well. I saw there's a new old stock 12 volt Black & Decker spotlight back there. Oh yeah? But I couldn't find any comps on it. Yeah, I never, this doesn't work anything, no. especially in that condition. I know like a lot of those vintage blades and stuff are like for like oh, the circular yeah, no saws doubt. and everything. I think that's what it was now that I think about it. Anthony swears it's haunted. It did, it did look haunted. It's in here. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm gonna put these in the pile too, though. Oh, I don't know. What else is in? Oh, yeah. These are like really. These are really old. They are. Hello. How's it going, man? By the way, I'm live streaming. She's saying something shouldn't be on video. <laughs> That, I didn't care about the bowl, if that matters, but I just thought this was a six or an eight. Because your mom yeah, sure. would want the bowl. Yeah, so, I think your mom would want that too. That thing? That huge. She would use it outside of it. All right. What you think? Oh, she loves anything that you can put stuff in. Okay, so, 
this right here. Mm -hmm. Cool box. And this stuff. Do you want You're... those weird ornament thingies? Oh. I mean, I, I have no clue what they were, them. so I mean. And then the eight track tapes. Yeah. So I mean, that's you know, it? Yeah, a lot of it would just be kind of guesses because it looks cool. Yeah. Um, about a hundred bucks. Oh, that's that's fair, John. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, because there's nothing that's like screaming out to me. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I mean it, it's all smaller stuff, but yeah. I mean that sounds that's nice. ridiculously nice. No, I mean. The A tracks. I even offered them to the guy the other day. I said, if you if you will take these off my hands, I'll give you all of them for like ten bucks or twenty bucks. Okay. I don't want to mess well, with anything them. Anything that you well, want. Deal for sure, man. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. I'll take those out for you. Okay. Yeah. Do you see anything else? Yeah. There was one on one side and one on the other. The, right here, yeah. yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. She took some boxes off. <laughs> We didn't tell you we made a deal on those. I told her all those. I heard you talking about boxes or a big go, man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Make sure they're not sticking together. Yeah. Everybody that's trying to pay me is like your money sticking together. It's crazy. They look new, so they shouldn't be too uh, Corona y or anything. Oh, right. Not too much C word on Yeah, exactly. All right. You want some of those back? Um, well, there's car seats, so let me. Yeah. Yeah, no, that looks pretty, pretty good shape. That? No, I did not. See the little wick? The little... It is, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's a liner. Holy crap. No, I did not notice that. I thought it was broken. I was just being careful now. with it. A penis trench art lighter. One That's how I like to light my cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> 120. It's going to be like, I'm gonna kick oh, no. I told her, you guys were coming, and she's like, I'm so jealous. Tell him that he always makes me laugh. Which is, That's so nice. I guess hard to do, because she never laughs at me. Like, <laughs> like, legit. Hopefully we'll get to see him in September. Yeah. Wait, you guys have tickets? Bye-bye, Ohio. Hey, we did it. Yay. Well, we'll back up on you a little bit. There you go. Yay. 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 Okay, you gotta drive. All right, so we're back. It's actually the next day. It's Saturday morning now, but I just got everything carried in. We did pick up a few things. Um, I'm sure you saw us carrying a few things to the car. We didn't necessarily take a lot, but John was super generous with his pricing and I feel like we got some pretty cool stuff. Not really looked anything up necessarily, but I'm gonna show you everything we picked up. But before I do that, when we got home yesterday, there was a little package in the mail that definitely would have come in handy today. These are from a viewer named Tina. She made us some custom reusable frog masks. These are so awesome. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Tina. Let me open them up and I'll show them to you. There's one for Elliot. He's three years old, so it says toddler frog. Awesome. There's one for Sarah. Purple with the frog. And here's mine with dark green on the other side. These are so amazing. I promised her I'd wash them before I wore them, so I won't, I won't try them on, but I'm so excited to have those. Thank you so much, Tina. That was really very, very nice of you. All right, so let's take a look at what we picked up from John Storage Units. Okay, so first things first, Sarah was wanting some tools, and he just happened to have this Craftsman toolbox right here, and it is full of miscellaneous stuff. I haven't really dug through it to see if there's anything great, but I'm sure she'll end up using most of it. She is quite the handy little thing. Also, this bench grinder right here, it's a Delta bench grinder. Looks like it's never even been used. I mean, it's got some dirt on it, but it's in really good shape. And to finish off the tools, there's this Craftsman Riveter right here. Not sure if she'll ever use this, but we just threw it in. And like I said, he made us a really good deal. He charged us $100 for everything, which was maybe a little too generous, but we'll see what happens. Didn't really look a whole lot up as we were buying. Just kind of just kind of found some things that looked interesting and grabbed them. Here was that little trench art lighter that John was talking about. I'm sure you caught the little drop at the beginning. Very, very cool. Very old. There's an old King kit we picked up. Some vintage ball jar rubbers. Um, I usually like to pick these up. They don't sell great by themselves, but if you get a few, you can lot them up and they do okay. A couple vintage Fuzz Busters back there. There's a Fuzz Buster Original and a Fuzz Buster 2. A little mag light that I saw sitting on a shelf and that was, that was pretty cool. Those are always handy. This is a 
Marlboro Zippo. Never been used. Looks like it was probably like a uh, Marlboro cash giveaway or whatever it was called back in the early 2000s. But like you can see, never been used. Pretty cool. We grab this whole box of model rocket engines and igniters. These individual packs sell for somewhere between like 10 and 15 bucks a pack. And I think there's 15 sealed packs in there, plus all of these igniters. There's tons of igniters, so definitely a good little score right there. Sitting next to the keying kit were just these old vintage locks and keys. Don't know if they have any value or not, but Sarah and I thought they were pretty cool, so we just went ahead and grabbed them. There is a vintage thermos. Don't really know a lot about thermoses, but it was in good shape. I liked the color. It was vintage, so we picked it up. Here are a couple battery-operated Westinghouse picture lights still in the package. The package is kind of torn up a little bit on them, but they're all brand new. Looks like on eBay they sell for between like 20 and 25 bucks a piece. There's a listing on Amazon where they're $99 a piece, but it's the only offer and the rank is crazy. So I'm pretty sure that that's not realistic, but I'm sure we can do something with those for that price, obviously. I just thought this little suit of armor was really cool. I don't think it's old. It's got a barcode and stuff at the bottom, probably like from Hobby Lobby or something, but I thought it'd be a nice little collectible to set on a shelf. I just thought it was kind of neat looking. Here's a partial set of vintage drafting tools. It's not complete. But I always like to pick up these old drafting tools when I see them. They usually do pretty well. I don't know if not being complete will hurt or if you can part something like this out. Found it in a box and I thought it was neat. It is Dietzgen Master Pro is the set name. It was this bag of, it looks like old Japanese statues or figures. None of us had any idea what this stuff was, but they're all marked Japan on the bottom. I don't know if I can get a better light. They're all marked Japan on the bottom and there's tons of them. So got to do some research on those, but... Just thought they were really neat. So we went ahead and picked those up and we'll see what we have there. If anyone knows, let me know because I think they're pretty cool looking. Then I found this bowl of old swizzle sticks. There's some Pez dispensers in here too. Some Batman and some Star Wars and some Wonder Woman. I don't think the Pez dispensers are worth a lot, but I know some lots of swizzle sticks can do okay. So if nothing else, it's just a fun little project to try to look all these up, maybe lot some up. You know, maybe there's something special, maybe there's not, but there's at least a couple hundred in here, if not more. So I'm excited to dig through them and see what we got. Uh, we also picked up a little gift for my mom. Her and my sister watched our kids while we were gone. So you may have seen it. It was, it was a big glazed pot, like a flower pot and an orange Dutch oven. So I don't have those anymore because we gave them to her. But that was also part of the deal, which was awesome. And then the last thing, I got these two boxes of 8-track cassettes. And I have not dug through them at all. But I was telling John that 8-tracks are something I like to gamble on occasionally if I can buy them in lots because 9 times out of 10, they're not worth anything or very little. But I have sold 8-track cassettes that I would never have thought were valuable for upwards of $100 or more a piece. So this will be fun to dig through all these. So we got The Who by Tommy. I won't be disappointed if there's nothing valuable in here. But if I find a treasure, that will be cool. Well, that does it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for riding along and for watching the video. Thank you so much, John, for inviting us down. I wish we would have had a truck to bring home tons and tons of stuff. There's tons of furniture and lots of awesome stuff in there, but we pretty much fit what we could. John gave us a great deal. It was really nice to finally meet him in person, and I would say it was all in all a very good day. So thanks a lot for watching. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap